Hi friends, welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day video. I'm sharing with you three different quick, easy, delicious recipes along with my matcha latte recipe, which is of course my favorite. So if you want to see how to make all of these delicious things, then keep on watching. Starting off with breakfast, baked oats have been my jam recently. I've been experimenting with a bunch of different recipes and just different delicious things to put in them. So this is kind of like a cinnamony, cinnamon roll baked oats and they are so freaking good. Oatmeal is such a staple delicious breakfast because one, it keeps you full throughout the morning but also fuels your morning so you have energy to do whatever you have to do. And I'm going to be honest, I haven't been a huge oatmeal person but baked oats are so easy because I just get up throw all of the ingredients together, put it in the blender, put it in a pan, throw in the oven, and then I'll do different things for my morning, journaling, reading, cleaning up, getting ready. And once the oven goes off and my breakfast is ready, then I can just sit down and enjoy it. So I've kind of incorporated it into my morning routine and I honestly look forward to it every single morning. This specific baked oats recipe, I'm still experimenting with it, but it's really good if you add half of a banana. I did not have bananas this morning, so I went without it, but it does help a lot with the consistency of it. For the topping of this oatmeal, I just put a little bit of almond butter, maple syrup, and cinnamon together to make this kind of like, I don't even know what this is, but it's almost like the filling of a cinnamon roll. And then I just like swirled it in on the top of the oats. When it has banana in it, it's definitely a better consistency than this, and it's easier to do the little swirls, but I was kind of struggling this morning, but it's okay. And then, like I said, throw in the oven, forget about it for like 25 to 30 minutes. Or, on the other hand, you can make pancakes out of this mix. Again, definitely better if you have a banana in it as well. But you just do the little swirls on top. Same exact thing. That's why I love this mixture is that you can do so many different things with it. Perfect little pancake. Obviously, it's, you know, consistency. Again, a little different. But definitely still delicious. Top it with some maple syrup amazing but after about 25 minutes at 350 degrees the baked oats are done and the best way to enjoy your baked oats is obviously in a pretty glass but also i like to top it with a little bit of milk i feel like the hot oatmeal with the cold milk is such a perfect combination and then also with some maple syrup or agave on top for just a little extra sweetness amazing absolutely delicious ethan also loves his breakfast so i'll usually have like half of that little dish and then he'll have the other half and i'll enjoy my breakfast while reading my book or journaling a little bit another thing i've been incorporating in my morning routine recently this is like my little moment of peace and i feel like it sets up my day just right. All right, lunchtime. Now, I have been on this Mediterranean kick. When I tell you guys that I just really like something, I like it for a couple of weeks and I get obsessed with it. So right now, we're really loving baked oats and we're loving some Mediterranean food. So we're making this kind of chickpea falafel bowl. So first off, we're going to start by making the chickpeas. Pro tip, kind of pro tip, I guess, that I always tell you guys to do is to prep your veggies. Just like prep your station before you start just like throwing everything together. So I'm chopping up my garlic, I'm chopping up my onions, whatever veggies and whatever things you have to throw together get those all ready and lay them out so then after that you can just like quickly throw them all together it definitely makes the process a lot easier then we have our chickpeas oh my gosh chickpeas chickpeas you guys if you don't eat chickpeas you are missing out you can make so many things out of these freaking chickpeas and i freaking love them so we're throwing everything into a blender to make the little falafels also flour helps too you can use like whatever flour you want i just had regular flour so i use that and while you're blending them up, they are gonna get pretty stuck. So you need to shake them up throughout the process so it gets every kind of inch of the chickpeas and the onion and all that stuff. It doesn't have to be a super like creamy consistency. We want it to have, we want it to still have some texture in there. And then after I just put a little bit of flour on my hands and start to shape up the falafels. I know people have a bunch of different ways of doing this, but I think it's just easier just to do with your hands and make 
these little small patties then we throw it onto a pan and these are gonna get nice and golden brown let them get nice and crispy I also tried to make these in the air fryer but they're definitely better making them on the pan now we're gonna make some hummus all parts of this dish can be prepped in the beginning of the week so the hummus and the dressing and stuff I'll just like have in the fridge so I can make bowls out of it I can make wraps out of it salads out of it so this hummus is specifically wholesome hands recipe she posted it on her Instagram this was actually my first time trying it and it is absolutely delicious I forgot to put in the ice cubes. She says that that is like an amazing, it helps with the consistency. And I can assure you that it definitely does. This hummus came out amazing, amazing. You guys, you definitely can like play around with how much lemon juice, tahini, salt you put in it to your liking, but I think this was perfect. Then another topping is gonna be corn. This is just from the can. And also the rice. It was from a bag, like a microwavable bag, but it's just like some basmati rice, which is the best with a Mediterranean bowl. I love to get kava bowls and they use this basmati rice and it is so delicious. So this is kind of like my little recreation of my kava bowl. tzatziki sauce also prepped it in the beginning of the week i showed it in a previous video which i will also link down below for you guys i can literally eat this every single day it is fresh but also a savory and kind of like comforting dish you can also top it with some feta i am actually sad that i didn't show you guys that but some feta on this would just like top it off perfectly and it also had ethan's seal of approval i feel like when ethan likes something then we know that it is delicious then we know that it is approved so that's our little kava inspired mediterranean bowl It's time to make a matcha before we get to work this is pick tea matcha is definitely become one of my favorites not only because it comes in these little individual packets so it's just so easy to make but it is also very yummy so i am sifting my matcha of course i tell everyone sift your matcha before you add the water before you whisk it and everything you need to get those clumps out we don't want clumpy matcha no 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 not today gonna add a little bit of hot water and I have gone back to using my whisk to whisk up our matcha and get it nice and frothy I just feel like this is the way you're supposed to do it it tastes better this way and it, you definitely get all of the clumps out by doing this we are always using our Alfred's vanilla syrup and I'm going in with some planet O extra creamy milk today and then just topping it off with our matcha That has just been my recent at-home matcha recipe super simple i love making matcha because it is the easiest thing to make you don't need an espresso machine for it you don't need anything too fancy matcha water a little whisk some milk and some sweetener and you're ready to go and as you can tell this one today was really hitting the spot i'm doing my little regina george mom dance move and you can tell that it is delicious on the menu tonight for dinner is a delicious chicken bowl recipe this is kind of like a sweet type of sauce you're gonna see it has a lot of different ingredients i don't even really know how to explain it it's just really really good so first we're gonna start off by making our chicken because it's obviously gonna be taking the longest so we're gonna cook that up in a pan and then also gonna start making our jasmine rice because that will also take a while Now time for the sauce. Like I said, lots of different ingredients. I find most of my sauce recipes off of Pinterest. I'll just look up whatever I'm in the mood for, a sweet sauce, a savory sauce, sriracha, pesto, teriyaki, whatever sparks my interest. And I'll just try out that sauce and kind of like taste test as I go and see if it needs a little more of this, a little more of that. This one was definitely interesting like ketchup, brown sugar, sweet chili sauce, garlic, 
but it came out really good so I highly highly recommend trying out this one and then I'll add everything to a pan bring it to a boil and then keep stirring it until it becomes kind of like a glaze it took about like two to three minutes for this to happen and then after that I will add my chicken to it our go-to veggie is always broccoli for some reason. Broccoli in the air fryer is so delicious and all you gotta do is just put a little olive oil, salt and pepper, toss it up a little bit and then throw in the air fryer for literally like five to seven-ish minutes, however crispy you want it to get. But it is the perfect veggie to any dinner that you're making. Here I'm just slicing up some green onions to top off our bowls and then we just throw everything together. These are definitely my favorite dinners. Again, a very well-balanced meal, and that's what I try to do with my meals throughout the week. It's things that are going to fill me up and fuel me up and make me feel good. And I hope that you're doing the same in your day-to-day -day lives. And hope that you guys remember that food is fuel, all food is fuel, and you deserve to enjoy all foods, especially the yummy ones. So hope that you guys enjoyed watching today's video and try out these recipes. Let me know if you like them, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.